Have you ever wondered why your community floods more now than it used to? This video will help you answer that question. This is just one of many questions you can find answers to as part of the Penn State Extension Stormwater Basics Education Series. Floods are a nuisance. Whether in the streets, parking lots, or your own front yard, they are no fun. Beyond being a nuisance, floods have a significant impact on our communities. Floods cause loss of life as well as damage to buildings and other structures. In 2017 alone, Pennsylvanians suffered nearly $7 million worth of property damage, and two people lost their lives as a result of flooding. What exactly happens during a rainstorm that would lead to a flood? It starts with understanding the options that rainwater has when it hits the ground. In a forest, up to 15 inches of rain per hour can be absorbed into the soils. It becomes groundwater that fills our aquifers, providing water for trees and other plants to grow, as well as for homes and businesses that rely on wells. In our developed communities, most of that rainwater becomes runoff instead. There are very few natural places left for water to soak into the ground, so it rolls downhill off of our rooftops and over streets, parking lots, and sidewalks until it reaches a low point like a stream or a river. The raindrops might also take a fast track downhill by rolling into a storm drain along the edge of a street or parking area. In pipes below the storm drains, Rainwater gathers in large quantities and picks up speed as it travels. Eventually, the storm drain system ends at an outlet. In most Pennsylvania communities, that outlet is the nearest stream or river, and the water gushes out of pipes with a power and volume that those waterways are not able to handle without consequence. In a heavy rainstorm, the water quickly overflows the banks and causes flash flooding. You might have noticed more and more talk about flooding in your community and across the United States. There are a number of different factors that are contributing to the increase of flooding. One of those factors is the increased number of heavy rainfall events that we experience each year. According to the National Climate Assessment, heavy downpours are increasing nationally, especially over the last three to five decades. The largest rainfall events have become more frequent, and the amount of rain falling on the heaviest rain days has also increased. We also have many more paved and developed surfaces in our communities than we used to. Homes, businesses, roadways, and parking lots are popping up all around us. Even lawns prevent most rainwater from soaking into the ground because they've been so compacted during development. From 1990 to 2007, the developed surfaces around new single-family homes increased at an estimated 34% across central Pennsylvania and the Chesapeake Bay region. At that same time, the area population only increased by 18% so our communities are adding impervious services faster than we are adding new people. Increased flooding can also be attributed to Pennsylvania's aging communities. Many towns and cities have systems in place that are well over 100 years old. When they were designed and installed, people had no idea what volume of stormwater we would be dealing with in modern-day Pennsylvania. All of these factors add up to a flood of issues. Sometimes streets and yards flood and they are nowhere near a stream or river. It could be because the nearby storm drains are clogged with litter, mud, or yard waste and not allowing water in. Or, the drains themselves are overflowing from having to carry away more water than the pipes can handle. It could also be from poorly directed downspouts draining water off of rooftops into areas where the water has nowhere else to go. When you see a flood, keep in mind that water isn't the only thing being carried into storm drains and into our local streams. Rainwater picks up litter and debris, automobile fluids and other hazardous chemicals, eroding soils, pet waste, and anything else that happens to be on the ground. It's important to play it safe around floodwaters and their potential hazards. Children and adults should never consider floodwaters as an opportunity for recreation. Just 6 inches of rushing water has enough power to knock over an adult, and 12 inches of water can carry away most small cars, making injury and drowning a serious possibility. You also can't see what potholes and other hazards are under the water. Don't take the risk and try to enter or cross floodwaters. Polluted floodwaters will eventually drain to our streams and rivers. Many of Pennsylvania's communities rely on these waterways for public drinking water, for recreation and fishing, and for wildlife habitat. Right now, Pennsylvania municipalities are working hard to improve stormwater management and reduce flooding and water pollution. If you have additional questions about stormwater, or you are just interested in learning more, you can find a full series of videos and fact sheets on the Penn State Extension website. Just search for Stormwater Basics.